Hey everyone, I'm going to give you a quick tour of our 2021 Sprinter van conversion, so follow me. Just going to run down the features real quick of the van. So up front we'll start out with the swivel seat. Uh, in order to swivel it around, all you have to do is grab the lever pull it forward. There's also another lever in red that you press down and then you rotate the seat. It has a few positions so it might lock in this position so you just grab the lever again and continue rotating it Then you can just push it back depends how tall you are and here you have it. Right under the seat we have the SPAR diesel heater so in case you need to access it for maintenance or repairs, it's right down here. The hot air comes through this port right here. So let's hop inside and take a look at the features inside. So I'll start with the upper cabinets. You have nice four evenly sized cabinets up here. They all have RV latches to keep the doors locked in place in transit. They have a nice click to it so you know it locks in place. You have struts to support the doors. Very nice size. You can even fit a paper towel standing up. So let me close this real quick. So if we just follow down here. We have our fridge, a 65 liter marine grade, uh, run on DC power, so very efficient. It's not going to drain your batteries like a regular 120 volt standard refrigerator. You have a freezer up here, plenty of space for your drinks and food. Right below the fridge we got a nice big drawer where we placed our induction stove top. So if you ever want to heat up some water cook something you just pull it out plug it in and it's ready to go so it doesn't take up your counter space like one of the built-in units so you have nice storage everywhere whatever you're working on preparing food or just doing work in the van so right here we have uh, the heater thermostat which you can adjust different kinds of settings to turn it on you choose the length the temperature down below we have two switches the left switch is for the water pump so you can turn on and off your water pump and the right switch is for your gray water tank so in order to dump the gray water tank you have a electronic ball valve down there that's operated by the switch so right now it's in the on position the tank is completely drained, so we can shut off the, the switch and put it in the closed position. So down here we have a water filter, it's a five year water filter. Your water is drinkable right from the faucet. We have a 10 gallon uh, gray water tank. Up here we have a timer switch for the water heater. Um, so usually it takes about 10 to 12 minutes for your water to heat up. It's a four gallon water heater. So you, you would just choose 20 or 30 minutes setting and you'll have plenty of hot water. Up here, we have a bar sink, good size, two different settings on the faucet, good pressure hot and cold water as mentioned before uh, right here we have a nice window that has multiple positions that you can lock it in it has four latches to close it it also has just a little a setting for just to keep the window slightly open for just a small draft at night for fresh air so we'll just keep it open for now we have a bug screen that's built in and also a privacy screen. 
or you can do 50-50 if you want some privacy but also want some air coming in. So we'll just open it for now, keep it open. So let's walk through here. We have a dimmer switch for all the lights. So there's three different light switches. This one operates the LED strip below the cabinets and these three puck lights for the kitchen. So as you can see, it has a wide range of temperature. So you can set whatever mood you'd like. The other two switches are located on this side next to the bed. One of the switches operates the lights above the bed, the three puck lights. And the other switch operates a long LED strip that runs across the whole van. So definitely plenty of light in the van. Up here we have a shelf for extra storage. You can fit variety of items up here. We have a privacy curtain as well. So when you're getting ready to go to bed, just close this up. It has magnets that can attach and keep it in place. We also have a cutout around the, the heater port. So, you know, the, the curtain is not in the way and doesn't block the heat. We have a couple small shelves up here with modular bags that you can, you know, move around, you know, place different items in there. What's nice about this is that like the stuff doesn't bang around while in transit, keeps it secure and just nice extra storage. Down here we have three large drawers, plenty of space in each. You can even fit a full size water kettle if you want to heat up your water. Just place it under your induction cooktop and there you have it. So we have another drawer just as deep, same size. Uh, more storage on this side, little cubbies. You can place, you know, all kinds of stuff in there. More storage right here. You could also place a, a safe in there if you'd like for your valuables. Down here, we have a little stool to get into the bed easier if you'd like. And right here we have a medic portable toilet, which is located down here and stores a lamp when not in use. Easy to clean, pull it out, not too heavy. Up here we have a microwave to get up your food. Right above it, we have USB ports, cigarette lighter port, I have a battery monitor, and an inverter charger controller. So right here, the battery monitor has a Bluetooth capability, so you can access all the stuff on your phone. So currently we're drawing about 100 watts of solar power. And batteries are currently charged at 73%. Right here we have a lagoon swivel table. So two people can comfortably have breakfast, dinner, or just simply do work. Or if you're just by yourself, very nice and comfortable. You can adjust the height, lock it in place so it doesn't move around. All right, above here we have a, a fan 
So it's also got a remote control right here for the fan. Let's turn it on. Very simple operation. You can set the temperature, you can set the, the mode for there to be coming in or out of the van, depending on what you're doing. So let me turn that off. So let's get out of the van right now. Let's go to the back. On top of the van, we have 550 watts of solar panels above. Can't really see them from down here. Just another small feature, a little cubby for your shoes, or extra storage when you get in the van. around the back all the doors are finished with like soft material we have storage nets right here on both sides down below right here we have a 30 amp RV port to charge your batteries so you have an option of solar or plug it in and charge your batteries that way we also have an adapter to charge it at home right here this is our the inverter charger unit the main battery switch in case you need to shut off your electrical regular household outlet nice little shelf up here for a person that's sleeping on the side for storage we have an outlet to charge your phones or devices up here we have smoke and co2 detector and now I'll walk you through both of these boxes. So this side is dedicated to all the electrical. So all 400 amp hours of Battleborn batteries located right here. All the breakers, all the fuses are in there for your easy access in case you ever need to replace any components. This whole panel is removable. If you remove these six bolts right there. This whole wall down here is also removable in case you have any long items such as kayaks, skis, or you also have access from the inside. You have this curtain right here. This side is dedicated to the water. We have the four gallon Bosch water heater. All the water lines, water pump, water shutoff, valve, accumulator, everything's located down here in case you need to service it. Up here we have a water fill port. The water level gauge is right, turned on by the switch. Right below it, we have a shower, shower port. So let me demonstrate. Just grab the, the shower hose from here. It's almost like a typical garden hose. So you can also replace, you know, different types of heads. You can get, you know, a holder that will keep it in place for your outdoor shower. Um, there's also an option to run a line right here with both doors. Put in this position to make a privacy shower. So imagine putting a little line across here, having a curtain. So let me attach the shower. You have to line two, two little marks. And here we have it. So right now the shower is on. Nice and steady pressure. You can hear the water pump kick in. It's an in use. Have many different options. Different spray patterns. In case you want to wash your bike after a nice bike ride, or your surfboard, or anything else, you can simply take a shower. So that's that. 
You can close the water. Very simple. You can drain the water if you'd like, but usually you have very little seepage. Just store it away right here. Close it up. And you're done back here. So that's pretty much it for the back. And technically the whole tour of the van. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.